Hey guys, it's Rob from Australian Camping and Four Wheel Drive again. Hey, we're out here again and uh, we're filming yep. the uh, Teardrop Camper. Yeah, the Adventureman yeah. X10. So, introduce everyone to, to everyone. Yeah, I'm Mark from um, Adventureman and Travel Bug Teardrop Campers at Coolum Beach. And here today we're going to show you the uh, X10, a uh, light off-road teardrop we build. So we've done one before, so this is the new this, one, is this it? This is a rethought, yep. rethinked. Listen to the, uh, listen to the uh, clients. Feedback from, from, and, yep, from customers. See what they've got to say and, and our own knowledge and sort of make it better and better. That's what you do. Awesome. So as right. we see on this one, she's a, she's a square style teardrop as opposed to the old style which was round. Yep, yep. And uh, the fridge is in the front toolbox. We run a very strong chassis. Um, which runs all the way from the spring house out to the front, drop down coupling, have any coupling on the front you want. So um, we're talking DA about this guy 35. here, so if you want a different type of coupling, yeah. also this guy over here, yeah. I'm just running a, a ball coupling on this one, you can run DS35 or any of other brands. Cool. Now these come standard with electric brakes because they weigh 720 kilos standard. Okay. So we need to put brakes on them and register them up at 900, 950 gross. Electric brake, uh, Elect brakes control system, they're really cool. Uh, all the controlling mechanism stays here on the on the van and only in the car is on your telephone, on the app. So that's a, like a wireless brake system? That's a wireless brake system, yeah. Oh, Designed great. in Australia, works really well. Because while we're speaking about that, we try at Adventureman to use so much Australian content, um, like mud guards, windows, rear door, um, stuff like that is all Australian manufactured, all Brisbane manufactured. So very happy, you know, stand up plates on these things. Um, just in the front here while you're all around here, our fridge is just here. We're just running a 40 litre in this one today. Sweet. So that just sort of couldn't so, couldn't work simpler. So what type yeah. of, um, what size fridge um, can you put in the, into these things? You can put some 60s. Yep. Obviously the box has some size restrictions, but we just uh, we just fit the best we can. Most people is uh, take these away only for like a week or so. Okay. So a 40 litre fridge still works fine for that period of time. Now we've got new doors. Sweet. Uh, these doors are really nice. They're a full security mesh type of door. Yeah. Um, look at that. Look at that. So you got look at the ventilation so here. See the ventilation going in and out. Yeah. And then we have lockbacks to hold these these fellas back into place. Oh, look at that, guys. Yeah. So yeah. in here. They just sort of lock back through the glass here. Yep. And clip straight in. It clips straight in. So to ever put them back together, you simply just pop them together and close them up. Done and, when, deal. and when you lock these doors, I'll just show you this. Um, when we lock these doors, they pull in when you no, turn the handle. We've got like a, a further locking point for, yeah. um, for helping the seals go even tighter. So Sweet. that's another company that's redeveloped. We never used this concept before, but they redeveloped triple locks. It's got three locks. Jeez. It's really helped hold the door into place. In place yeah. uh, awesome mattress. That looks nice, doesn't it? Yeah. It's, um, I'll just turn a light on there for you. Oh, look at that. Yeah. So we have dimmable roof lighting, we now have reading lights as you see over there, USBs, overhead pockets, yeah, uh, up, thermal up the curtains. Here, you've got like a little pocket sitting up yeah, there guys. we've got a fire, a fire extinguisher there and a smoke alarm. And that fan there, that fan actually flips up into that roof vent oh, and yeah. pulls, pulls in the night air. Oh that's great so isn't it? It works really, really, really so good. So it keeps it nice and cool in here for you. It does. We're all so. about airflow with uh, Adventure Man. We, but I've just yeah, like that air, or the controllability of airflow. And you, I noticed you've got cupboards up the back up there as yeah, well. Yeah, that's um, four, two shelving there, so there's four sections of it. Yeah. Uh, it's about 200 millimetres deep. Just good for putting your toiletries and stuff and towels yeah. and stuff into there. And, yeah. um, and you've got nice big windows in here as well. Yep. Yeah. and now we've got um, white and uh, mozzie lights. Oh, sweet. So they work really well too. So you've got just a little button there. Just a little button, and away you go, there, that's like touch sensitive, isn't it? Yes, it is. Works really good. It's great. Suspension on these ones, we run a 15 inch wheel package. Uh, this one has mud tyres that most folks would get an all terrain tyre. Okay, yeah. Uh, they're an off road leaf spring and they run a 45 solid steel axle on them. And as you see, there's 10 inch electric brakes fitted with massive U bolts on that one. So that that's as tough, that's way over engineered for what a teardrop yeah. needs. Yeah. But uh, I'd rather over engineer. So I'm um, very, very happy with that. Um, in the, the biggest change we've made recently is we had, used to have a lot more angle cut off here. Yeah. So now we've changed it where you've got access to the storage there. Oh, look at that. Yeah. And we've got lift ups. <laughs> so we've just got all this storage, which is literally, you know, 1500 across and 600 square. That's so fantastic. My nice neat storage ability <laughs> is not shown, but, um, 
Yeah, so it's quite nice. And then when you lower them down, beautiful sort of a butcher's block, yep. high gloss sort of finish. So you can do all your cooking here. Yep, and we've got overhead pantry running right through both sides here. So that stores all your little quick grab items. In the corner now, in this model, you run a little Thunderbox. Um, so that shows you where your battery's at. Um, double USB, cigarette lighter socket, and an Anderson should you need one at the back here. So That's awesome. So we've got the power at the back. This, this van runs a full wiring harness. So up in here is a fuse box where everything's fused. Okay, mm. sweet. So it works really well. And you've got another one of the lights up there as well. So yeah, he, he goes yeah. to Mozzie as well. Yeah, that's great. So yeah, because obviously you're trying to keep your bugs away. Yeah, and if you've um, ever been camping, guys, hey, the, 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 the um, bugs, they love the white light. <laughs> bugs love the so, white light. Uh, orange light, that's why you have an orange light, in case yeah. you're wondering. Now with this one, all these vans come with a, um, a two and a half by two and a half rollout awning. This is the standard rollout. Yep. A lot of folks upgrade to this Batwing style awning, which you see we've got here, which is called the uh, 230 Falcon awning. Right, right. And, he, and it goes out, around, and right around the back here, as you see. Um, but, to, but here now, they've just released this product. This is the awning walls with the screens, the air screens in them. Okay. Um, which allow a lot more ventilation. You can yeah. see out, it's harder to see in. Yeah. And it was setting it up here for the first time today and very, very happy with it. Oh, they look good. Works really well. And you can actually buy the walls that like go right around and around the whole thing. Around the whole deal if you wish to do that. So um, and this has got the light suppression technology, so it's yeah. hardly any heat underneath it. Yeah. So yeah, we're very happy and it's so simple to use. It's got three arm design here, two arms on the front. And you can see the quality and the, the stature of this is just incredible. So I've done it well. Very happy. And the new, uh, the new sh uh, shoe tidy. Oh yeah. <laughs> Chuck all your, all your gear in it. Yeah, that just slides on the sail track there. Works really well. So Sweet. very, very happy. And around here, we actually got a bit of a new innovation. So we come around and have a look at this. Hmm. We've actually got two. In here, uh, this van is running an AGM120 battery in the box, and there's also a quick checker there and more USBs and cigarette lighter. But this is running the um, the Kickass new 22 amp smart lithium charger. Sweet. So yeah. if you want to convert to a lithium battery at a later stage, you, you just pull it out and just, just drop just it, it in into there. And it's that such line. a simple charger to use. It was uh, sort of taken away any sort of guesswork. That's great. Our vans can have 240 volt. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, which plugs in the side like a caravan and gives you six power points. Okay. So that and so if one you go is in the caravan front, park here. You set up as you well. Just plug it in, and once you plug it in, you just the battery's automatically been charged up. So it works really well. But I wanted to show you this. This is the new uh, 230 um, shower change room. Oh, yep. It's already attached on the side of the teardrop. Sweet. Underneath the awning that was on the other side, and we brought it over to here. Yeah. And it's a no-brainer. It's just um, it's folds straight out. Just folds straight out. It's a meter square. And it's just, you know, it's so easy to um, to use, and it even comes with lights. It has yeah, I noticed that. I noticed that the backup there. I yeah, can yeah, see I haven't like a set USB him up on this one yet, but yeah, he's a uh, full full length LED lighting on him. And um, it comes with all the clips to put your shower rose on and everything. So sweet. The, the ladies would just love this because it, it just works yeah. so well, you know. So yeah, very happy with this model. Um, we have a new website too, Adventure Man. Oh yeah. And Travel Bug are separate companies now. Okay. And um, so Adventure Man has its own website, adventuremanteardropcampus.com.au, yep. okay. and Travel Bug is the more roundish, traditional shaped teardrop we make. Okay, so you got, yeah, okay, it makes sense. Hmm, so oh, just uh, no, are able to promote so them under their own identities. So, do you, have you got a couple of different models? We have four models in the Adventure Man range. Yep. We have ones that suit like a little Suzuki Jimny's. Right. Called the Sidekick model. Okay. And then we have the Trekker which is similar to this, but de-sized slightly for like a mid-size SUV okay. called the Trekker. And then we have um, the one called the High Country, yep. which is a slightly less aggressive roof angle than this. And it has a pull-out kitchen that comes out the, the back of it. It's okay. a square-backed one. I see. And it has a slide-out kitchen, which is great. You just pull it out and cooker and sink and everything's right there, like a typical camper trailer. Yeah. And then we have this fella here, which is more off-road capable. So what's the weight of, say, something like one of these? This one is about 720. I weighed it before we left okay. the shop. Yep. Uh, it grows, we have a gross setting of um, 950 on this one. Okay. We have some roof racks that carry 100 kilos. Yep. Um, so you can chuck a kayak and stuff on the top. So what about like, the little one like, that you were talking about with the, that works on the Jimny? Yeah, he's called the Sidekick. Um, he's only eight foot long. Yeah. Still has the storage at the back like you saw that one on yeah. the side. Yeah. 
It has room for up to a 50 litre fridge okay. in the back. It has um, internal cupboards. It has um, not quite a queen length mattress. Uh, it's a, between a queen okay. and a double. Um, How much do they weigh? He weighs in at about 590 kilos. Yeah, so I was just saying, I think that'd be perfect. $12,900. Little, little oh, awesome. We have sold so many to Jimmy people. Yeah. And because um, it, it's it was built to suit their car, yeah. Because no one was really making a teardrop no. that looked like it should be with a yeah. Suzuki Jimny, yeah. And as you know, the Jimnys have been becoming so they popular, are, they are getting really popular. And um, we needed to make something that was light, and those little guys could could, could tow them along. around. So yeah, there so. you go. So all the Jimny customers out there, you know, after looking for a little camp trail, that might be another idea for you. Hmm. So oh, sweet. Mm -hmm. That's so awesome, very happy. Mate. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, uh, oh, beauty. So how about um, you tell people where they can find you so they know how to, how to come up and, and um, they where, turn to you on the, on the web, obviously. Yeah, we're on the web. We and, have Instagram and Facebook pages yep. for both our models. And we're at, um, we're at Coolum Beach yep. in the industrial estate there on Link Crescent. Beauty. So, so uh, if you want to go and check it out, can yeah. they come and have a look at any models or, or is it, you know, we're we're a We've had our closure sharing yeah. closed just while the COVID COVID's nasty been going on. was going yeah. on. But we're about to reopen it quite soon. Okay. Facebook will say when that is. Yeah. And um. So and best to give you a ring. Best to give me a ring and just work out how to come around and have a look. Sweet, beauty guys. All right, guys. Hope that's been of use to you. Hey. And um, Thank thanks, you. mate, for spending a little bit of time and showing us around. Been fun. Yeah, it's been good. Awesome. All right, guys. We'll talk to you later.